Hi everyone, thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. This video is part of the series of videos I'm posting to try to help people out when it comes to aptitude tests like the civil service exam. And today we're going to talk about a question na lahat kayo halos ay nagtanong na sa akin, which is, what is the best pen to use for the exam? Now, why am I making this video? Kasi since last year, the Civil Service Commission announced that instead of using a pencil for the exam, so Civil Service exam, you're required to use a pen. Now, the problem is, anong klase yung ball pen? Marami tayong mga ballpoint pen in the market right now. And what happened really was, uh, before I made this video and before I started making recommendations kung anong ball pen ang gagamitin, ang ginawa ko was, I bought all of the pens na meron sa National Bookstore and, uh, well, na available sa akin. Tapos, I tested all of them. Now, ang, uh, ang mga standard go for what to use are these. Number one, thickness. Bakit thickness? Kasi pagdating sa exam, you're going to have to shade yung laman ng circle. And kung mas makapal ang sulat ng inyong ballpoint pen, mas mabilis nyo siya masyashadean. Kasi kung manipis ang sulat, it'll take you a lot of time para i-cover yung buong laman ng circle. Second standard is yung kanyang luminosity, yung kanyang uh, ilaw. Bakit? Kasi the Scantron machine uses reflective light. Ibig sabihin yung light na tumatalbog from uh, the, the light ng scanner, pabalik dun sa papel, tapos yung ibabounce back niya. At yun ang mag-indicate na merong sagot dun sa letter na yon. So, I also, uh, I also tested that. I also tested yung retention ng ink. Ano yung sabihin? Um, kasi ganito yon. mag exam kayo lahat sa August 6 or sa kung kailan ka man kayo mag-e-exam uh, by the time that I'm making this video kasi before the August 6, 2017 exam to. So, when you take the exam, it'll take some time pa uh, sa biyahe nung test paper ninyo, babiyahe pa yon papunta dun sa regional office or kung saan mang office merong scantron machine. And it'll, it'll take time bago yun dumaan dun sa machine, bago yun matsikan. Ano ibig sabihin ng retention? Ibig sabihin, dapat mas matagal, okay, habang tumatagal, hindi kumukupas or nababawasan yung tingkad nung ink na nilagay ninyo. Ibig sabihin, hindi siya dapat masyadong inaabsorb ng papel. And that is the reason why I chose yung recommended ko na pens. Now, in order for me to show you kung bakit yun yung recommended pens ko and also to teach you how to properly shade but things sa exam, I'm going to switch and uh, show you each of the pens that I have right now. Okay? So, uh, sandali lang. Okay? Okay, so this is my desk. So, sorry, medyo madumi siya. Uh, I, as you know, I've been away for the past few weeks. Now, uh, there are a few pens that I want to talk about. Now, this is your regular uh, gel pen, okay? Yung gel pen, how do you know na gel pen siya? Ito yung nauubos yung tinta. Nakikita nyo talaga nauubos siya. Now, this type of pen is not allowed pagdating sa exam. Bawal ang gel pen, bawal ang friction pen. So, if you have yung G-Tech, kahit mahal yan, okay, hindi yan mababasa ng machine. Bakit? Kasi ang G, ang G-Tech, ang gel pens, hindi siya nag-reflect ng light. Kasi when you write uh, using a gel pen, okay, <clears throat> i-absorb nung papel yung ink na gagamitin. Hindi siya magre-reflect pabalik. Okay? And you can test this using a regular piece of paper. Now, if you have a regular piece of paper, any piece of paper will do. Let me just get one here. For example, this piece of paper. Kung, lalag, kung susulatan ko siya using a gel pen, right there, okay? Now, I don't know if you, this can, uh, if you can see it, no? Pero, nakikita nyo, hindi siya nagre-reflect ng light. And, uh, hindi katulad ng ball pen. Now, ang example ng ballpoint pen, this is the type of pen you usually buy regularly sa mga national bookstore. Okay? Ito, Faber-Castell na, na 0.5. Regular ball pen. Panda, Uni, um, Titus. Yung mga ganong klaseng pen. Ballpoint pen. <coughs> okay? If you shade using this type of pen, okay? So, ito again. This is gel. This is ballpoint. Okay? Yan, nakikita nyo, nagre-reflect ng ilaw yung ballpoint. Okay? Sana, na, sana nag-focus siya ng igin, no? Yan, pero nagre-reflect siya ng, nagre-reflect siya ng ilaw. Yan, nakikita nyo, umiilaw siya. Hindi katulad ng gel. Okay? Hindi siya nagre-reflect ng ilaw. Ito, nagre-reflect siya ng ilaw. And you will actually see that better pagdating sa sunlight. So, if you're, uh, if you're anywhere in the Philippines, you can check kung nagre-reflect yung ilaw ng inyong ballpoint pen. Yun yung sinasabi ko na reflectiveness. Okay? Now, uh, if you purchased one of the review materials that I have available, 
yung booklet, yung practice test booklet, you will get one of these. Okay? Now, bakit, gani, bakit may kasamang ganito? Kasi, I also want you to practice shading. Okay? Kasi pagdating nyo sa exam, ganito yung magiging itsura, di ba? A, B, C, D. Tapos, merong, uh, meron kang A, B, C, D. Tapos, meron kang mga circles. Tapos, bibilo, shaden mo kung ano yung katapat ng letter na sagot ninyo. Meron din dito yung first name, date, uh, last name. The reason for that is kasi I want you to practice na magsulat ng pangalan at mag-shade ng pangalan ninyo really fast. Kasi maubos na kayo ng time pag mabagal kayo mag-shade. Okay. Now, dun sa practice test booklet, if you have one, a copy of one of these pieces of papers, uh, mag-practice kayo maigi, pwede nyo ipa-Xerox para mas marami kayong answer sheet, no? And actually, yung circle na ito na ginawa ko is bi a little bigger than the actual circle na makikita nyo sa exam. Sa exam kasi bilog talaga siya. Ito medyo oblong. Now, the reason for that is, again, para ma-practice kayo mag-shade ng mas mabilis. Okay? So, mas malaki ang surface area nito. Kung matatapos nyo yung exam, yung practice test, ibig sabihin madali na sa inyo yung regular na exam. Okay? Now, we're, go we're going to practice using some of the pens. Now, here, like I said, is yung regular na regular na ballpen nakikita ninyo out there in the market. Now, I'm not an endorser ng Faber-Castell. I wish I was para pwede, ko mag pwede ako magpamigay ng ballpen pero hindi yun nangyayari. So, if there are anyone na galing sa Faber-Castell who would like to sponsor me, please do. I'd love that. Okay? Kasi marami ako students who need help. Now, again, gel pen, hindi pwede to. Okay? Hindi pwede. So, tapon nyo na yan. Huwag nyo gagamitin sa exam. May student na ako na gumamit ng GTEC noon. Nag-error yung paper niya. Hindi, wala siyang score. As in, yung zero yung score niya. The reason, kasi hindi nababasa ng machine yung ball pen na yan. Now, this is a regular pen rin. This was given to me sa sponsor's dealer ng World Vision. You can use any pen. Okay? This is also okay din to. Ballpoint pen kasi siya. Okay? So, you can use this type of pen. Yung mga giveaway. This was given by my student. Okay? DOST... Uh, Employee kasi siya. Ayan, sana nakikita, no? And I love this pen kasi okay naman siya magsulat. You can also use this type of pen. As long as black ball pen siya. Okay? You can use it. Now, um, here's what I'm going to do, okay? And I hope nakita niyo siya, no? If you notice here, I'm going to write here. Again, pero sa exam, you can do this, ha? Okay? Dito na lang nga lang sa likod. Baka matense kayo masyado. Okay, yan. Sa, li sa likod. Kaya, sketch paper. Sa exam, ha, bawal ito gawin. Okay? Huwag niyo susulatan yung answer sheet ninyo. But if you notice, magsusulat lang ako ng line. Okay? This was using this. Okay? This was using this. And I hope makikita sa, makikita nyo sa video, no? This was using this. Now, if you notice, each pen, may, ka may iba siyang thickness or diin ng sulat. In fact, itong 0.5 na pen, mas less yung diin niya kesa doon sa dalawang pen na pinakita ko sa inyo. Now, these are company giveaways, like I said. Now, bakit ko recommended yung pens na recommend ko? Ang nirecommend kong pens sa inyo are two types, okay? Now, the problem with these two types of pens is medyo mahirap siyang hanapin, okay? But, okay, if you find it, it's, it's better than the regular pen, kasi I'll show you, okay? Now, this is yung Stabilo na exam grade. Now, the problem with this pen is hindi lahat ng natural bookstore din nag again, they carry this. Nag-try ako maghanap uh, since this March, wala na ako nakikita. But the, the uh, good thing about this exam grade pen is, okay, no. Yan, ang pangit yung sulat. Wait lang, kasi matagal lang yung ginagamit. Yan. If you notice, kung i-compare ko siya dito sa regular na fabric castel na pen, okay, tatabi ko, okay, it's a little darker. Mas dark yung sulat niya ng onte, Okay? Ito yung exam grade na Stabilo. But the problem with this is it's rather expensive. Nasa 30 plus isa. Okay? But, if you look at this, this is actually the best pen na nakita ko in the market. Again, Faber-Castell LV7. 0.7 siya. Ibig sabihin, mas makapal yung sulat niya. Now, I like this pen kasi mas madiin ang sulat, mas makapal. Okay? Let me just uh, show you, ha? Kung paan, i-compare lang natin. This is yung... Okay? Ito yung regular na Faber-Castell na pen. Now, you notice, medyo grayish yung sulat. Okay? Um, dito, exam grade ng Stabilo. Okay? Mas dark ng onte, But, again, hindi naman ganun ka-accurate. Mas dark lang ng onte. But this one, okay, let me just make sure na natanggal ko na yung wax. Tingnan nyo, ah. See? Can you see the difference? Mas dark siya, okay, than any of the two. I'll show you better sa camera. Yan. Can you see that? ba? Malaki yung kinapal niya kaysa doon sa unang dalawa. That is the reason why I recommend this pen. Again, Faber-Castell na LB7. 
7. So, hopefully, malay natin, may tiga fabric na sila makakapansin para may pamigay ko sa inyo. This is the pen that I give away pagdating sa review events, kung merong mga review events, pag na-attend kayo doon, pinapamigay ko tong pen na to. The reason for that is kasi hindi lahat ng mga bookstores, again, they carry this. Now, I, even ako, kaya hindi ko siya ma maipamigay sa lahat kasi kahit ako nauubusan ako ng pen na to. However, you can try sa National Bookstore, sa SM Department Stores, yung stationery section nila, you can buy that. The last time that I looked for it, uh, this week actually, nakakita ako sa SM Fairview na department store, marami sila nito. So, bumili ako ng tatlong kahon. Okay? So, if you're attending one of the live review events, lang, lang sa Metro Manila, you'll probably get one of these. Okay? Kasi pinapamigay ko siya doon. Now, paano mag-shade? Yan ang magic question natin, paano mag-shade, no? I'm going to zoom in closer, hopefully, para mas makita ninyo siya. Sana mag-focus maayos, yan. Yan, okay. Now, pagdating sa shading, iba-iba yung style ng mga tao, no? Yung iba ganito mag-shade. Yan, sa gitna. Okay, tapos sa, sa labas. Now, I don't recommend that kasi mas prone siya sa lagpas. And mas matagal. So, ang, ang suggestion ko would be from the outside, in. Okay? So, parang nagko-color tayo ng bata, ba? You start with the edges first. Okay? Sa edge. Tapos, tatlong ganun na lang sa gitna. Okay na. Okay? Again, edges first. So, yung labas. Okay? Kahit mga tatlong ikot lang yan, tapos ganun na lang sa gitna. And then, you're done. Okay? Ngayon, ano yung mga hindi pwedeng gawin pagdating sa exam? Okay? Paano ba mag-shade? May nagtatanong sa akin, madiin ba mag-shade? Well, hindi kailangan sobrang diin. But kailangan, if you notice the way I shade it, kailangan kompleto, buong circle, merong col may color. Bawal ang sobra. to bawal yan. Bawal ang sobra. Okay? Bawal ang kulang, yung ganyan lang. Hindi yan mababasa. Kailangan buo. Okay? And bawal ang lalagpas. Okay? Kaya medyo tricky siya. Okay, now, bakit bawal lumampas? Kasi baka pagdating sa machine, ang mabasa niya yung B. Ganon. So, that is the reason why hindi pwede yung mga yan. Now, there is another problem pagdating sa uh, exam. Okay? Kasi ball pen na nga ang ginagamit. Dati, pencil. Bigsa yung pwede, pwede ka mag-erase. Now, nowadays, bawal na yung mag-erase. Bawal ang friction pen. Yun yung ball pen na pwede i-erase. Hindi yun pwede sa exam. So, what do you do? Now, for example, dito sa number 7 natin. Okay? Kaya, ang first answer ko is letter B. Okay? So, sinadan ko na siya. Now, magpapalit ako ng answer. Kung magpapalit ka ng answer, you can only do this once. Isang beses lang kayo pwede magkamali. One time lang. Okay? Pag nagkamali ka, what do you do? You mark it with an X, and then you shade the other answer, letter D. Kunyari, for example, like that. Now, pag nagawa niyo na yan one time, bawal na bumalik. Ano ibig sabihin? Hindi, hindi na pwede na mag-X ka ulit tapos mag-shade ka ulit ng isa. Bawal na siya. So, you can only make one erasure at a time. Kasi pag nag ganito, mali na yan lahat. May error na yan ng machine. Okay? So, anong gagawin? Again, if you want to change an answer, for example, dito tayo sa number 10, kung meron kang isang, may sinagot ka na, letter B, for example, yan. Tapos, buburahin mo siya, you just mark it with an X, and then shade the next answer. Ngayon, wala nang balikan, wala nang change na answer, you have to move on and answer the next question. Now, another question, pwede mo maglaktaw. Now, you notice, pwede naman. Okay? Wala sa rules sa civil service na hindi ka pwede maglaktaw. However, quick warning. Minsan, may tendency tayo, okay, for example, if you're answering dito, tapos naglaktaw ako, for example, number 10, naglaktaw ako sa 11. Tapos ang nangyari, yung question number 12, sobrang dali niya. Okay? Kaya, addition lang siya, or um, properties of addition and multiplication. So, madali. May tendency tayo na kahit dapat number 12 ang shade ninyo, dahil dito blank, you will shade this instead. Okay? Again, yung 11, nag-skip ka, ba? Pero dahil, alam mo madali yung number 12, shade mo siya. Ano mangyayari? All of your answers will move. Okay? Mamumove siya. And then, pagdating mo sa question number 40, okay, pagtingin mo, bakit 39 lang to? Bakit kulang? Bakit? Kasi nga, nag-move lahat ng mga answers mo. Now, dati, nung pencil pa ang ginagamit, madali lang yon, Kasi buburahin mo lang, tapos imumove mo lahat. Now, yes, hassle, pero mahirap. But ngayon, dahil pen ang ginagamit, it's going to be harder for you to change your answers. So, what do I uh, advise you to do? 
every 10 items, i-check nyo kung tama pa yung numbering ninyo. Titignan mo yung booklet, yung questions. Number 20 ba yung sinasagutan ko? Number 20 ba yung sinasagutan ko? Every 10, check nyo lang. Check nyo lang. Kaya maganda, if you have one of these, if you have a practice test booklet na mapapractice sa ninyo, na inuora sa ninyo yung sarili ninyo, para kahit yun, mapapractice nyo rin siya. Okay? So, that's it. Again, what are the pens that you can use for the exam? Ang number one kong recommendation is this. Okay, ito yung Faber-Castell na LV7. Okay, ganito itsura niya. Okay. Number two, exam grade na stabilo. Pwede na rin. Okay. Ayan, ganyan, ganyan naman ang itsura niya. Okay. Nasa na yan? Ayan, exam grade na stabilo. Now, any other pen will do. Okay, after. This is a re regular ballpoint pen, ballpoint pen, ballpoint pen. As long as ballpoint pen siya, as long as hindi siya gel pen. Pwede yan. Any ballpoint pen. Okay? Whatever works for you. Bakit? Kasi it's not about the pen. Wala sa pen yan. Nandun yan dun sa sagot ninyo. Okay? Alright, I hope you... I... Alright, I hope that video helped you out in picking out kung ano yung pen na gagamitin ninyo and kung paano rin mag-shade at kung ano yung gagawin ninyo. Ngayon na ballpen ang ginagamit sa civil service exam. Now, for the other exams, upcut and the and let and other exams like that, pencils pa naman ang ginagamit. But, but just be careful and mag-abang kayo in case magkakaroon ng announcement din ng changes for you guys. Alright? So, I had to switch uh, locations kasi nag, nag, uh, I had to take Kaylee for a walk. But I hope you learned something and I hope that you found this video helpful. If you did, click thumbs up. Make sure that you share this video with your friends, lalo na kung mag -e exam din sila, para malaman nilang mga, ang mga bagay nito before they take the test. And as always, God bless you guys. Subscribe to this channel, hit the bell icon, so you'd, you'd know kung mayroong bagong uh, video na paparating kasi I'm making more pa, lalo na palapit na palapit ng exam. So thank you guys for watching. God bless. Adja, adja kayo niyan. I'll see you in my next video and if you have any questions go to www.facebook.com slash team to get a copy of the reviewer also to find out if there are any upcoming review events in your lugar thank you guys bye for now